Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Vitor Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Negi and I am an aviation enthusiast. Today I'm going to discuss about current transformer. So let's start. Current transformer. So friends, what is a current transformer? A current transformer is an electrical component which can sense alternating currents or AC flowing through AC feeder lines. Now these feeder lines can be from any source like for example AC generators or alternators. So whatever the heavy alternating current or high alternating current which flows through the cables from the sources like alternators, AC generators towards the load. Okay, that particular alternating current can be sensed by using the unit called as current transformer. Let's study in more detail about this current transformer. So first we will learn about the construction and then it will be followed by the working of the current transformer. Okay, And then I will also discuss some of its uses. So let's go ahead friends. Let's first start learning about the construction of current transformer. In a current transformer we have a core which can be made of silicon iron okay silicon iron so this is the material which can be used to make the core of the current transformer okay the current transformer core is basically in the form of a toroid okay suppose this is the toroid which i am drawing okay on this toroid a winding is wound okay and that winding is the secondary winding why i am saying it like this because Note that friends, in a current transformer on the core, it is a secondary winding which is wound. There is no primary winding on this core. Why I am saying like this? We will get to know a bit later. Okay, So, I am putting the winding over here. Here the winding terminals are coming out. Right? And what is this in black color? This is the core. Which what material it is made of? Silicon iron. Okay. Now, this is what a current transformer is. Now, what the manufacturers generally do is, they used to place this core and winding within a uh, molding. Okay. Suppose I am using green ink to show you the molding. Like this. And this is a empty space or aperture okay why is it there we will get to know so what is this aperture and this green color molding or you can say casing okay so this casing is of what material this can be made of resin compound what is this this is the molding next what is this blue color thing this is the secondary winding and what is this black color thing which I have shown in black color this is the toroidal core okay so this is the core which is made of silicon iron so friends I hope you are clear with whatever I have explained till now okay now let's go ahead so friends if you see this current transformer is looking like this right with a, an aperture over here and if I draw 3D diagram it will be like this right so it's having two faces one face this one and one on the other side so this face or this side it is marked as H1 by some manufacturers and the other side is marked as H2 that means on one side there will be H1 and the other side it will be H2 like this okay so on this side you can see H1 and on the other side of this current transfer you will see the marking as H2 now what are these H1 and H2? So this H1 basically it tells you that this is the side of the current transformer which should face the generator. Okay, and on the other face, this one, this face, okay, which is behind H1, that is H2. So that side H2 will be facing the load. Okay, so I hope you are clear with the markings H1 and H2. Okay. Now, these two terminals are here, 1 and 2, okay. So, these are the terminals 
from where you will collect the output suppose these two terminals i am naming it as x1 and x2 so here i am marking it as x1 and x2 these are the metallic terminals okay from where you can take the output of this current transformer and also what do we have for mounting the current transformer obviously there will be a base plate like this right there will be a base plate and on this base plate there will be some holes okay so that you can put bolt mounting bolts over here and you can fix it into the structure now let's study about the working of current transformer so for learning about the working of current transfer we need an ac feeder line coming from some source of ac which can be alternator or ac generator as discussed earlier suppose this side of the current transformer is marked as h1 as explained here okay i am rubbing it off and also suppose that this side is the generator or alternator okay suppose these are the output terminals of alternator or ac generator and this is the neutral terminal this one is neutral and what are these th suppose these three are the ac feeder lines which are coming from this alternator so i'm just using only one ac feeder line okay i'm extending it here okay this i'm attaching one cable okay it is going like this and it will come out from here right i'm just putting these lines to identify the cable or ac field line okay so friends what i am doing over here is i am just showing you that an ac field line from this alternator is passing through the aperture of this current transformer right so likewise for the other ac field lines which is this one and this one okay we can also have two more current transformers so right now i'm just using only one current transformer which is allowing one of the ac field line to pass through it for the purpose of our explanation okay so now what is happening over here is as i have told this is an alternator so the output is ac so this is high it can be high voltage ac right so from here as the ac current is flowing like this okay as the ac current is flowing through this ac field line or cable okay what happens is this ac field line will produce a magnetic field around it okay suppose this is the magnetic field which is produced around it in blue color i am showing so this blue color magnetic field is produced by the alternating current flowing through this ac field line or cable right so now what happens is this magnetic field which i have drawn over here in blue color is not stationary why it's because the current which is flowing through this cable or ac field line is ac or alternating and we know that the alternating current used to change its magnitude and direction because of which the magnetic field which is produced by the current is also moving so now this moving magnetic field used to cut the secondary windings which secondary windings the one which i have drawn here in blue color okay so the magnetic field which i have also shown in blue color is cutting these conductors of the current transformer that is the secondary winding of the current transformer and hence according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction what will happen is on these secondary windings an emf will be induced right so emf will be induced in the secondary winding that's why these secondary windings which are wound on this core are also called as inductive pickup type windings so now as an emf has been induced in these secondary coils what will happen is i would like to collect that particular induced emf from these terminals right so what i will connect is i can connect any meter i can connect a meter over here and i can measure how much current is flowing okay so now as i have connected a meter current will start flowing in this winding and that current i'll be naming it as secondary current suppose is okay is the secondary current from where did this current come up friends it's because of the moving magnetic field and from where did this moving magnetic field come up from the current which was flowing in this field line suppose that current is represented as ip that is the primary current hence we say that this ac field line through which the current is flowing okay that ac field line is behaving as the primary winding for this current transformer hence 
to this AC feeder line I can say it as primary winding right so what is primary winding over here it is the AC feeder line and what current is flowing through it IP that is the primary current what does this primary current do it used to produce a magnetic field around it that magnetic field used to cut these lines of conductors because of which an EMF will be induced okay that is a secondary voltage and when I connect a meter over here okay what happens is our current will start flowing in this circuit of the secondary winding that current is IS that is the secondary current and I can measure how much is the secondary current so this current whatever we get in this meter is a representation of the primary current that means through this meter reading I can come to know whether a current is flowing in this primary winding or not and how much current is flowing in this feeder line of the alternator I can get it here so likewise I can also measure how much current is flowing in this AC feeder line and this feeder line by connecting other current transformers that's why we say that the current transformer can be used in AC generator or alternator regulation and protection systems so I hope friends you are clear with the working of current transformer now we'll be discussing about some of the uses of this current transformer the current transformer can be used in applications like controlling protection and indication applications this current transformer can also be used in conjunction with AC ammeters hence the current transformer is used for the control and protection of power distribution systems of the AC okay now I'll quickly summarize what we have learned today so what we have learned is the current transformer is a device which can sense current for control protection and indication applications also we have learned about the construction of the current transformer where we have learned that there is a toroidal shape core of made of silicon iron okay on the core which is there in black we have windings wound that is the secondary winding where I have told you that the current transformer consists of only the secondary windings then its terminals I have shown you here one and two which are here okay after that what we have learned that the core and the windings are enclosed within a casing or molding which is made of the resin compound okay and that is placed in a base plate which is made of metal for mounting it into the structure wherever the current transformer need to be mounted in the aircraft after that we have discussed that the current transformer has two phases one phase marked as H1 and the other phase marked as H2 so this H1 and H2 resembles the polarity of the current transformer how the side which is marked as H1 should face the generator side and the side which is marked as H2 suppose this side is marked as H2 should face the load side okay after that we have discussed about the working of the current transformer where we learn that for discussing about the working we need to have a primary winding that is the AC feeder line or cable coming from an alternator or AC generator suppose this is the AC feeder line coming from an alternator or AC generator so through this AC feeder line suppose current is flowing okay now to measure that current okay or to control or indicate that current in some meter what the current transformer does is so when the current is flowing through this AC feeder line or cable it creates a magnetic field which I have shown you here in blue color that magnetic field is moving because the current is alternating so that moving or alternating magnetic field used to cut the secondary windings of the current transformer because of which an EMF was induced in the secondary winding of the current transformer so that EMF or voltage is available at these terminals X1 and X2 now suppose if I connect a meter to these terminals which are marked as X1 and X2 then I'll get to know how much current is flowing in the secondary winding that is represented as IS now what is this IS? IS is the secondary current then where is the primary current friends? IP the current which is flowing through the cable or the AC feeder line okay so that is the IP or primary current so friends from here I hope you have understood the construction and working of current transformer after that we have discussed about the uses of current transformer the current transformer can be used in control protection and indication applications also the current transformers are sometimes used in conjunction with the AC ammeters okay and lastly the current transformer can be used for the control and protection of power distribution systems okay now as we have discussed about the uses of uh, current transformer let me tell you one point friends suppose this current transformer has been disconnected from its circuit okay it has been disconnected now make sure that friends these two terminals they are sorted together okay or joined together by a conductor 
if i don't connect both of these terminals then what will happen if anyone touches these terminals they can get severe electrical shock and that is very very dangerous that's why the terminals of the current transformer need to be connected together whenever it is removed from the circuit okay friends so friends i hope you have enjoyed learning today's topic i'll come up again with a new topic in my next session till then enjoy learning this topic and thank you